the hell was today? Today was amazing. Um, I wish I could have did it at the Combine, just to, you know, show I could do it on a big stage as well. But, you know, I had to get healthy, and I'm glad I got healthy just to show you what I could do. What, Plus, what do you think you really showed today? Uh, a lot. Definitely that I'm athletic. There was a lot of talks out there that I, you know, won't be athletic or a lot of things won't cover. But I think I showed a lot, and I'm very proud of what I did out here today. Do you think you open eyes? Have you talked to some of these scouts here? Yeah, of course, but I, uh, I do think I open eyes. Um, but I'm not really too worried about that. I'm just, I let my film and play do the talk. What do you want NFL teams to know about you? A lot. Um, not just a great football player, but a good person off the field. Nice young man that, you know, takes things very seriously, accountable. And, you know, I just love the game. What well, feedback did you get from scouts that you talked to today? Uh, Nothing right now. It's, it's a lot of things just going on and moving. Uh, I have a couple interviews and meetings set up after this, so we'll see. Some. Is this a stressful time for you? <laughs> you, 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 feel, you feel the stress? Um, not today. It was definitely a stressful time leading up to it, you know, only because of the injury. Mm -hmm. But throughout the whole process, I had fun. Um, and I hope that, you know, the guys coming up after me can experience this as well. Boss, you had the opportunity to do this last year. How, how have you grown as a player? from last year to this year? Oh, a lot, uh, and the film speaks for itself. Like, if you just go back and watch, you can see I learned a lot of football. You could see um, me and Coach Manny really got in the lab and did everything we needed to do. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, growing up, maturing the court again. Did from, you talk to the NFL guys at the Combine? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. talked to a lot of teams, talked to a lot of people, um, and you know, just showed them, you know, my love for the game and my knowledge. Did they ask you about the interception in the Clemson game? Uh, I don't think I... I Why I were you there? Why were you in such a position? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really think I got that question. Oh, okay. Boss, is this I, kind of like a last day, too, with, with your guys? Like the culmination of your college career type thing? Uh, no. Um, so, actually, me and Kalijah's birthday were early March. So, we're going to throw a little something, uh, just a little get-together, so we can, you know, wish everybody a farewell and a good, you know, a good job. So, so Ross, you yet. talked about proving that you're worthy as an athlete that you can do that all that stuff mm -hmm. how much of a motivating factor was that for you coming into today um not a lot really i'm the type I, it, it doesn't matter about proving people wrong it's about proving myself right so i just wanted to go out here and know i put my best foot forward and you know exceeded expectations playing in this defense where you guys play multiple linebacker positions like every year do you think that helps you in getting to the nfl yes definitely um just being able to you know like i said my knowledge of the game knowing i played different positions uh did a lot of special teams did a lot of things here i think it definitely helped me um and i can't thank those coaches enough <laughs> are you, you happy with what about? you did of course um like i said it was a stressful time leading up to this uh injury um and just knowing that I wanted to, you know, put my best foot forward. So, yeah. You talked about uh, being thankful for the coaches here. Can you kind of go back to that moment when Tim Salem walked into your high school to now, what this journey has been like? Uh, definitely. So it wasn't only Tim Salem, it was actually Coach Narduzzi as well. And um, he always says that I'm his recruit. He always <laughs> says that there's my recruit, uh, there's my recruit. So, uh, like you said, I'm grateful for those guys. They showed me a lot. Uh, I'm grateful for these players as well. Uh, Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. We competed every day. Bar star patootie, I'm gonna say that, not the other word. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just enjoyed my time here and everyone that you know was along the way. Was there anyone in, the, in your process so far, people that talked to this impressed you the most, like another coach who's like asked you questions, you're like, wow, that guy, that guy stood out from the others? Um, <laughs> I would say really my coach, okay. Coach Manny. Um, he prepared me very well for this. And what I mean by that is not just, you know, the X's or O's and things like that. It's the whole process. He made sure I, I grew up, made sure I was, you know, the man I wanted to be. And leading through this process, he also just, you know, shed light on things and helped me along the way. So, yeah, definitely Coach Man. I'll, like I said, I'm not going to stop saying this, but I'm grateful for those guys. Have you met or talked with the Steelers yet? What do you think of that organization? <laughs> um, right next door, neighbors. Um, I haven't met with them, but I would love to. Is when, when Coach Manny's talking to you, uh, especially preparing you for this part of the process, it's different like when you're his player trying mm -hmm. to fit the games plan, but now he's just trying to help you get ready for the NFL. Is he more pumping you up on your strengths or is he just challenging you to work on different things specifically? He's, yeah, he, I would say both. 
he does both. He uh, helps me with my strengths, but also my weaknesses. Also tells me what I need to work on. Um, yeah, he's a he's an analyzer. He makes sure, you know, I get the truth. And nothing to no, nothing fluffy or anything like that. So, yeah, he helped me a lot. What do you think you need to work on? <laughs> I'll leave that for the scouts to know. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned just how fun this was, and you could see every time it seemed like you were doing anything, you had a smile on your face today. Why is this so much fun for you? Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just here with my brothers. Uh, we dreamed of this. Um, me, my roommates, uh, our, my teammates, my guys on defense, Johnny came back. Um, <laughs> it's just a blessing to be here, number one. And number two, like I said, you're living out your childhood dream. So this is the first step, and we're just waiting for it to be completed. Was, was there a drill? Or, more, please? Was there a drill or anything in particular you did today that maybe you impressed yourself in? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say the four, uh, not the 40, but the uh, bro, uh, vertical jump. That definitely surprised me. <laughs> Foss, I've heard the story about how you dunked in front of Coach Narduzzi and that kind of helped you get recruited. Yeah. Did you kind of have the same feeling when you were able to do a vertical jump Oh, like definitely, that? definitely. Uh, like I said, my ankle injury, it hindered me from some things, but that definitely surprised me today. You weren't a highly ranked recruit coming in here, and Tyler said that uh, he feels like Pitt gives guys like you and him that weren't highly ranked recruits uh, a chance. Yeah. Do, you, do you agree with that statement? I definitely and agree with that. Um, it's a lot of guys that weren't, you know, highly recruited or, you know, four stars, five stars that did very well here and is doing well in the league as well. So Pitt does a great job of uh, developing their players, not only, you know, to be great football players, but to be great young men as well. And like I said, <laughs> I must keep saying it. I just can't thank those guys enough for it. <laughs>